In this video, I'll explain how to machine these slots. First, I'll explain how to calculate and program the ramping in. When programming a part such as this, I'll first get the code the way I want it for one slot, and then I'll add the code for the remaining slots. And I'll code this slot first. Since the slot width is 0.426 and the plate is 3 quarter inches thick, I'll use a 3 8 carbide slot drill with an inch of flute length. The two flutes will ensure the largest possible chip gullet. To rough the slot, I'll feed the tool in the YZ axis, causing it to ramp down into the part. As stated in the previous videos, I'll not exceed a 5 degree angle as I do not wish to break my tool. To calculate the depth of the tool at the end of the 5 degree ramp, I'll use trigonometry. The length of the slot from one arc center to the other is 1.5 inches. Therefore, as the cutter travels 1.5 inches in the Y axis, it will travel 0.131 inches in the z-axis when following a 5 degree ramp. Since the part is 3 quarter inches thick, this ramp will need to be repeated 6 times for the tool to cut through the part. Now that I know all the x, y, and z values, I'll create the GNM code to rough this slot. First, I'll position the cutter over the y minus 0.275 end of the slot, start the spindle, then pick up the tool height offset and turn on the coolant. Next, I'll feed the tool at two and a half thou per tooth to the top surface of the part. Next, I'll switch to the incremental mode and feed the tool into the part, gradually increasing the cutter load. Once the tool is at the end of the first ramp, it will feed the tool back to the Y position it started from, and at the end of this ramp, the tool will be fully loaded. The tool tip will now be at negative 0.232 into the part. The cutting forces on the tool are now at their maximum until the cutter breaks through the bottom of the part. These two lines of incremental code will now be repeated three times until the cutter is at Z minus 0.786. Then it will feed the Y axis only to remove the remaining material. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to take the finished pass to clean up this slot to the final size.